Hi and welcome to the first of uh, Redline Trading software tutorials. Um, today I want to introduce you to this incredible chart software that we use. Um, there is a free version of this, so you can download it freely, use it for a month. After a month uh, the data that you get starts to be delayed so that you don't receive the current data. Um, you get it about a day old, a little bit less than a day old, which is still fine for a lot of people and especially for using this Redline system you can still use the free version otherwise you pay uh, about $18 a month to have it update every hour. Basically um, you can get this software from incrediblecharts.com uh, it's a free download as I mentioned. Uh, the way we basically use it is uh, we have set up a template here which we call the Redline Trading Template uh, which provides us with all the basic information you need to operate our trading system. It's uh, very, very simple. It works on the close of each day, so in other words, uh, you don't have to watch the screen during the day. And uh, the close of each day's trading, the price, is uh, indicated by this dark black line, which you can see my mouse scrolling along there. Uh, each day, it just plots the point and continues on. We have lots of other things on this uh, template as well, and the most notable thing uh, is of course the red line, the second most important thing if not the most important thing. This red line is the price that we think that we will exit the trade at. So basically we will only hold a share or position as long as the price closes for each day above that red line and as you can see the red line moves up as the share price moves up. That red line is a moving average which means it's uh, averaging the last 65 days trading. So as long as each day closes above the average price for the last 65 days, then we stay in the trade. The other lines are moving averages of different lengths, ranging right down to the green line, which is our main buy line, and the green line is a 15 day moving average. This is all set up for you in the template, you won't have to do any of that, but it's good to know what it is anyway. The other features of the chart, there's some longer term moving averages down here ranging all the way up to about 100 or 120 day moving averages. Down here in this next window here we have the rate of change. The rate of change is exactly what it sounds like. The amount or the percentage that that share has gained or lost in the last six months. It's important to remember it's six months. Um, it tells you here 26 weeks obviously, you know, half a year months. Over here it gives you the last figures, the last values of those. The reason we have two lines is the black line is the absolute change. In other words it's today's date minus the date six months ago uh, and basically that just gives you the percentage movement. The grey line is a moving average of that rate of change. In other words the grey line is really the most important one. You've got, you want to know that it's been moving at that sort of a rate of change for some time which means it's taken a while for the average to get up. As you can see this share has a, a rate of change of 51 percent for the six months so that uh, meets our target of 100 percent a year or our ideal target. The next window down here is the volume that's the number of shares traded each day. A large volume will mean it's been a very active or interesting day a lot of people involved in trading that share often important moves are matched by high volume. The blue line that you can see running through along this way is an average of the volume. So that just gives you an idea as to whether each day has been above or below average for that share. So as you can see here my, that's a, a almost double the average that was obviously a, an important-ish day and as you can see it corresponds to a time when it would have given us a buy signal which uh, is fantastic for us. The next one down is MACD which we'll cover in a further tutorial but it basically gives you a bit of an idea as to how the share has been travelling, uh, whether it's uh, been going up and getting fairly strong and starting to weaken. It's kind of a momentum oscillator, gives you a bit of an idea. Uh, we'll, we'll run through that much more later on. So that's basically incredible charts. It allows you to keep track of a watch list, this menu up at the top here. Uh, of shares that you want to watch and when we make uh, our dream team of shares that we'd like to own 
we, we store them in here so that we can flick through them every day and have a quick look. To change shares, simply type the value up in this box in the top left hand corner. So if we want to look at BHP and hit enter and that will uh, bring up a chart exactly the same template but for BHP as you can see. Much less impressive trend uh, than CAB which I had up before which is uh, cab charge. See look, this is the sort of trend that we are looking for. Something that's nice where the moving averages are all in line and heading north with a good rate of change and good liquidity or good volume so that we know when we want to get out of our shares we can. There's going to be buyers, there's enough people trading that share to make it uh, possible for us to get in and out when we want to fairly close to the price that we want. There's a lot more to incredible charts but we'll have an advanced tutorial as well on the site. Okay, see you later.